think the challenge with every action movie always is to say, we want to see stuff that's never been done before. So on this one, we wanted to raise the bar and take the action to the next level. I'm most excited about the action we're bringing to the movie. I think it's going to be above and beyond what we've seen before. It's going to be really good. Classic, expandable style. The way it's a little bit brutal, but it has to be, you know. Real life is a bit brutal, and this film has that kind of edge to it. The Libya sequence is really exciting because we really wanted to do a lot of practical stunts and really put the audience in an immersive environment where the whole sequence was on the move. It was written in the script to be on foot. And I'm like, we got these cool vehicles called A1s. Let's do the same action, but now on the fly, in the middle of the car chase, have them fight. It is just wall-to-wall -wall action. That's what I want from these type of franchises. When you get in the action film, it's life-threatening situations. I think when people see it feel completely real, they get really excited by it. I tried to bring men and women in from around the world on this movie. I had a team from Jackie Chan's Hong Kong fight team. I brought Steve Kelso in from the Fast and Furious franchise on car sequences. And I brought in Brian Smurz from all the X-Men to direct second unit. Brian Smurz, who's a genius when it comes to actual real physical action. He and his team have designed some of the action pieces so that you look at them and you go, wow, that couldn't have been done for real, and it is for real. It was really knowing the screenplay and looking at the visual elements to not only talk about what I wanted to do, but also talk with Brian about here's what we should collectively do to elevate the sequence. One of the things that I try to bring to my films is they're predominantly done for real. And I feel in today's climate that's become an anomaly. <laughs> and we're doing so much in visual effects that we're kind of losing what action means. And so for myself, I'm looking for new and exciting ways that you've seen a car chase, but how is this different? We get to see some of our new characters like Galan and Easy in action. I need this for my neighborhood. <laughs> We got all kind of stuff going on back here. Real action scene, we out here doing it. You're gonna love this right here. My armor coming in. Action ready, fire in the hole, fellas. Toll Road has always been an explosive expert in all of the films. This is the first film where he actually gets to blow some stuff up. So obviously that excites me quite a bit. The great part about working with actors like Jason and Sly and Randy and Dolph, all these guys are able to actually bring new things to the table too when they see the choreography and they put ingredients into the kitchen. We make hopefully the best meal we can with everybody's input. The 12 million actors in the actual film, it's exciting to be there. You gotta surround yourself with people that have their own talents and their own style of doing things. Scott's actually the, the mastermind behind this. We're super lucky to have him. I love this movie, Need for Speed. I've been a big fan of him for years. I actually watched one of his shows where he just demonstrated how he lit and filmed a car chase. And he's bringing in something extra special, not just his directorial style, but also his humor, his freshness. Sly and I have been wanting to work together for probably five or six years. So I was super excited to jump in and be welcomed into this franchise and to hopefully bring my kind of expertise into this with my action background. Scott wants to hear your opinions, and I think that that synergy really works well with, with the cast and the director. It's always great when you have a director that knows exactly what they want. There's also freedom to play and to experiment with different ideas, and, and he's comfortable with those experimentations, which is, again, I think important for this genre because sometimes you find magic on the day that's not even written. Andy Garcia and I go back to 1996. We were doing a film together called Desperate Measures and I was a stunt double. And because of what I was able to do on that movie and get paid to do, it allowed me to fund my first movie as a director. And it was the catapult for my career. And here we are 25 years later. Working with Scott has been amazing. He's been in the stunt world himself, so like a lot of people, the audience can expect an amazing action-packed cinematic movie. What's great about this movie is you have so many performers who are experts in their field. Randy and I work out a lot together, and we're both fighters. I got my first acting job because I was 
an authentic fighter. There's an authenticity and a physicality that we as mixed martial artists and Olympic wrestlers have that you don't find in a lot of other places. I mean, you've got Tony Jaa, Nico Wace, who are absolute legends in the martial arts movie industry. It's like all these characters are legit stuntmen and allows me to shoot them without a stunt double and really get the audience in the action and also amongst the fighting. It was a big action sequence on a ship at the very end of the story and so we found a great location at the Solniki and built a whole ship there. We ended up building the Jintara deck out on a chicken farm in Greece and we needed a lot of room because the ship deck is extremely big and long. And that just allowed us to move the camera in even more visceral ways. We've got seven cranes, nine scissor lifts, 180 light panels, dozens and dozens of huge lights and manitous and forklifts. I mean, it's Disneyland out there. And that's what it takes to make it look the way we need it to look. We had a lot of explosions that we needed to do on the ship. And I kept telling my special effects guy, I want that thing to be 50 gallons of gas rolling. And it was funny because they kept asking me, how big do you want it? How many is more? And I said, the bigger, the better. And the only limitations we had out there was our imagination. So we kept increasing the size of the bombs. The ship deck was something that was important because we needed scale and we had the motorcycle sequence that was gonna be on there and we needed speed. I'm doubling Jason Statham. The man is badass, so I'm just giving it all I can to kind of make his character be as he is, a total weapon. Robbie Madison came in to do some motocross riding for us and some big jumps that we wanted to put on this big aircraft carrier ship to try and create a dynamic set piece that would kind of make you really sit back and think that's kind of crazy on a big ship in the middle of the ocean at night. The scene here, I've got the bad guys on my back, they're shooting at me, so I've chucked a 180. There's one bad guy left, so I'm coming towards him, I'm popping a wheelie, he's shooting at the underside of the motorcycle. The guy's a true professional, he respects Jason a lot, and I think he wanted to go to the next level for him. Even letting the emotions take on, you can get overwhelmed. My whole thing was to try and get the bike inverted and upside down, so when I rotate around, the gun's on the bike pointing down. and it all happened perfectly. To be able to bring my expertise of what I've trained to do my whole life and be able to put into a film and combine with all these amazing other talents, I mean, I'm living the dream. Expendables is a franchise that you come to enjoy yourself. You're looking to get thrills, and I feel like we've been able to accomplish the fun factor in this movie. We're here to save the world. You guys just sit back and relax and take care of the ugly stuff. Or will we? Go watch the movie to find out.